Hey France, what did the jackfruit say to the horned melon? Well, have a nice day. <laughs> oh, that was so cheesy. <laughs> that was cute. <laughs> Welcome to Icy London, Icy France. I'm London. I'm France. And we are back today trying food from a new country. We are. And so the country we chose today was, well, technically the continent. Yeah. Is Africa. Mm -hmm. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven items from Africa that we're going to try there from various countries um, and we tried to do a little bit of research up front to find items that were more popular yeah. um, and more more items that like Africa is known for so we uh, did more research than we have did in the past yes. <laughs> okay so what would you like to start with London well France why don't we let's say the drinks okay perfect so okay. we have you want to start this one? Yeah, because I feel like it's going to be gross. Okay, I'm going to put this guy down so we can, yeah, you guys so we can see a little bit. So this is a drink called Jamaican Irish Moss Vanilla Irish Drink moss. from maybe Big Bamboo. It's a, the name brand, maybe? I want to I wanna look this up again because I we looked it up in the store, and I think it like is literally from a moss. The main ingredient is the marine red algae. Ew. Oh, I thought it said contains egg and peanut. And I was like, it does. It says may contain egg and peanut. But probably because it's built. It's uh, created. Yeah, I don't see any of that stuff that you talked about. But we'll Apparently, try it. Apparently, it's rich in potassium chloride. Okay. That, I th that I think I saw. Okay, it does say shake gently. You are, you are shaking that gently. That's a gentle shake right there. <laughs> Kind of thick. Ew, that is thick. It looks like eggnog, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. Ew, okay. Oh, I already don't like it. No, you I'm picked it. I did. <laughs> Ooh. <clears throat> it kind of it reminds me of eggnog. But I don't it's know. Like vanilla and yeah. It's not bad. It's just so different. It is different. Ready? Cheers. Cheers. so sweet. There's a hint of like spicy. It says there's spices in it. Yeah. I don't mind it. This is very eggnog and I love eggnog. That's, yeah, I'm not surprised that you like it. I'll try it again. It's a bad aftertaste though. I'm not feeling the aftertaste. They had a peanut flavor too. I kind of like it. Interesting I'm not going to drink the whole can. I couldn't either. It's very rich. Yeah. They're very rich. Okay. If you drink this, tell us in the comments below. Yeah. Tell us, like, I guess you could put it in ice. Could yeah, I think it'd be good in ice. Almost like a good um, cocktail. Like a... Yeah. I say I like so it, but I feel like my face doesn't. Yeah. Okay. It's okay. Yeah. I Like, a sip is enough for me. Yeah. So, we are on to our next drink. What do we have? We are. This is Kabaki Kenyan Purple Tea. What also drew me into this product us into this product was that um it on the back the kaba kabaki company also donates a portion of revenues from each bottle sold to the expansion of healthcare facilities in the underserved communities like naivasha where we helped establish um, a medical clinic there. that's awesome so that is really cool yeah and it says like this has a lot of antioxidants in it because it comes from um plants that are Pigmented purple and red have more antioxidants. She really did her research, folks. Well, on the bottle, I did. I was excited <laughs> because I just am obsessed with tea. You do like tea a lot. I drink tea all day long. She is a big tea drinker. I like tea as well. You definitely drink more than I do, though. 
Okay, so this is our Kenyan purple tea. Cheers. It's different. It is very different. I like it, but it's it's got a more floral taste. And I think that's the peach in it. I feel like the peach in it is more of a artificially peach taste. But I taste like Do you? there's like a a more yeah like a more herbal floral yeah I see in the back that's not in the back. Like I feel like I feel like it's in the back of my yeah. mouth. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, I know. I love <laughs> you come up with such great like words to describe what we're tasting. It's well, you guys can see the bottle. It's just, yeah, I think it's just the purple tea. It's just different than anything I've had. It's very good. I know, and I love knowing that it has antioxidants. Yeah. Finish that sucker. Yeah, that's good. That's I'll good. keep that. <laughs> yeah, we're down to fruits. Three fruits. A dessert and like a savory biltong. You want to do the biltong? Let's do the biltong. Okay. So, real biltong for real South Africans. <laughs> well, we're not real South, South Africans, we're not, but but we are gonna try some real biltong. Yeah. And I, at first I thought I was like, is it antelope? But apparently it's just I think it's the style, the okay. way that the beef is like maybe cured and made. Um, that makes it biltong. It says this is not a beef jerky product, but real biltong made by using a traditional South African recipe. Lady Lecker. Help us with pronunciation if you're from South Africa or have knowledge of that area. Ooh, different. <laughs> Should we snap it? Like, split it? Or. <laughs> Girl, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Okay. <laughs> Not the first Hurt time I've uh, hurt myself with my own glasses. <laughs> Doesn't it smell kind of interesting? It is interesting. Ready? Mm. Yeah. Oh. We both just recently <laughs> got fillings. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not the best one. Mm. I think I'm going to have to cut it. <laughs> it doesn't taste bad. No, it doesn't. <laughs> I don't kind of like it the taste I mean it's hard to eat very hard to eat <laughs> can you cook about Tom it's air dried it's like cooked or it's like home instead salt. it is soaked in a salt and vinegar brine before being hung air dried <laughs> <laughs> this one's dangerous <laughs> I hurt myself I know I just literally like punched myself in the cheek hmm I need to like literally cut it because my fillings are both at the top. <coughs> I can't even. See, I'm on my, my other side. <coughs> but mine are on both sides. No, I know. That's why I'm on oh, that. Yeah, I see what you're saying. I like the. You want the knife? Yeah. That's not bad. <coughs> Wrong pipe for me. Um, I'm going to use this like little it. corner so that way we can. <coughs> and I'm going to try not to put my. Oh, mine. goodness. <coughs> Yeah, wrong way. <coughs> Tougher than jerky. Oh my god, yeah. Mm. I hate when that happens. Uh, I'm just chewing so long. <laughs> Bell Tom, I see you. Can't see ya, but I see ya. <laughs> you can't what? <laughs> Anybody catch I said, that? I said I can't chew ya, but I see Oh, that. yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Be so careful. <laughs> it's not worth it. <laughs> okay. That was good. That was. I'm only finished that as we go. Yeah. It's gonna take about an hour. I know. This is a horned melon. This one is not specifically from Africa. It was from Chile, right? Correct. Chile? It was from Chile. However, when we were um, researching popular. produce, yeah, popular yeah. produce in Africa, horned melon came up. And we were actually looking for passion fruit. But unfortunately, the international market is getting their shipment in tomorrow. tomorrow. But horned melon, we <coughs> just have to do. Yeah. Um, I'm kind of excited to try it, though. The name fits. It, yeah. It actually hurts. 
It does hurt. And I feel like they even had snipped. They probably even yeah. snipped off the thorns on there. So let's try this one out. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, so weird. You know what this reminds me of? What? It reminds me of the bitter melon. Oh, the bitter melon that we couldn't eat? That? It's not. So it reminds me of the bitter melon. And if you guys have not checked out our trying exotic fruits video, do yourself a favor and go watch that and learn about some of these really cool fruits that we tried. Thank you. You just want to pick half, I'll pick half. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm really weird about like holy textures what's that called do you remember what that's called no, I, I know i looked it up but this like gives me the heebie-jeebies but it i'm gonna try it very different than anything i've it seems like a plant like a sweet plant though mm. so you just pop right out <clears throat> you know <laughs> i don't know it tastes like much it tastes like, like little jelly. It tastes like how I imagine a green, very unripe tomato to taste. That would, t would taste, not to taste. Isn't that accurate? I like that you brought in the tomato because that's kind of like what this jelly consistency yeah. is like. It reminds me of like a squash for some reason, too. I think it's oh, this is like straight up like a flavorless, unripe tomato to me. Even the greenness of it. It's a little fruity though to me. Like, I, do you taste that? I mean, it's sweet, but I wouldn't get it again. You would or wouldn't? Wouldn't. Yeah. I mean, but it's fine. You can just pop the seeds right out. Ugh. Wasn't bad though. Mm -hmm. I like the ja happen. jackfruit is so weird. I'm excited to try it. Guava. Yeah, and pink guava. one, right? Yeah. Guava halves. I think guava. <laughs> Well, okay, so if you watched our exotic fruit, fruit video, I picked a very great guava. Oh. That was so easy to open. Right? No, it was horrible. Uh, we couldn't even put a knife through it. So we decided to do this. Because I think, too, at this international market, they probably order them, like, frozen or, or very, um, they pick them, obviously, when they're unripe, and then they probably have to sit a while yeah. before they become ripe. Yeah. I just... Oh, okay. I've definitely had like shampoo with guava in it that smells just mm -hmm. like that. <laughs> guava does smell good. <gasps> Ooh, it's interesting to see them canned. Hold on, hold on, hold okay. on. Okay. This is so slimy. This one looks like a tomato. Yeah, but it does not smell like one. This one smells no. so sweet. It smells so sweet. That's delicious. It almost and, uh, literally. I have had a guava before, like a fresh guava. It's spot on, but like it's even Wait, better in a can. Yeah. I can't chew them. Okay, they are just small. Oh, okay. God, that is good. I want another one. Go can for I get it. another one? Yeah. Yeah. So next we're doing the jackfruit, which if you guys don't know what like an actual jackfruit looks like, there's a picture of it back here. And they're humongous. Yeah, they're huge. They're like this big, yeah. like watermelon sized. Yeah, yeah. that's a good co comparison. But, and they're very expensive to get a full one. And you know, the purpose of this video is just for us to sample. So we luckily found a can that was a lot more affordable. The sink. Actually, it smells kind of nice. It's very full. Very sweet. I can see the stinkiness in it, though. I really? already smell it a little bit. Mm. It's not what I expected it to look like. <clears throat> That's what I did. That's true. <laughs> it almost looks like tiny little um, yellow pepper. I see that. Hold on a minute. Oh, are you going right in? No, I was okay. smelling it again. I guess I can't really cut it in half. I guess I'll just bite it. Why can't you cut it? That's why. <laughs> Not really. Oh, 
gosh. Did you not eat it? <laughs> wow. I tried. Whoa, I don't like it. It's so it's, different. Mm, I actually don't mind it. I mean, it has a bad aftertaste. I like it. It's, it's pungent. Dang it. I was hoping to like this one. It just looks cool. I don't like it. I don't mind it. Let us know if you've had jackfruit before <laughs> and how you eat, prepared it and eaten it. I bet it's a lot sweeter because of sugar in it in the syrup. Mm -hmm. So I bet the real thing would be a lot less sweet. Yeah. The texture is different too. It's almost like... I don't like the texture. Like fi more fibrous. Yeah, it is. You can't go wrong with chocolate. I know. Okay. <clears throat> this is Heavenly Ivory Cream. White chocolate. And it is produced. It's made in South Africa. Well, is that okay? Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the purpose of the video. Oh, yeah. Same thing. Same thing. Okay. I mean, it smells like what you'd expect. Actually, it's a little bit more bitter. I, honestly, the white chocolate's a little too sweet for me, so I'm kind of excited to see nice. what this yeah. is. Yeah. quite like it. I don't usually like white chocolate that is much because it's very uh, sweet. This is very good. It's very it's more of a mild. Yeah. White chocolate taste. I like it as well. Mm. I really like this. Oh, that's so pretty too. Mm -hmm. Ow. Oh, that's actually my cheek. Oh, I'm good. I said to win. Okay, so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What was your favorite overall? The Biltong. And me too. But this is this is good too. This is my number two. Mm -hmm. Then the tea. And the mine would probably guava. be the guava. For your number two? Mm -hmm. For my number two. Oh yeah, I thought this was number two. For my number three. Okay. And then the tea for me. I would put the horned melon before the jackfruit. I put the jackfruit for the horn melon. And then this is last. Mm, I forgot about that. Oh. Moth drink. It wasn't bad. It's just so different. It was very different. I don't really care for that consistency or flavoring. I feel like eggnog with you. Mm -mm, I do not. That reminds me a lot of eggnog. We did it! We did. So we hope you like this video mm -hmm. and hopefully it's inspired you to um, try new things. Right. Try new things at the very least. I was going to say, not everybody has an um, international market that's, you know, in a reasonable driving distance to them. But, and even like sometimes it can get expensive. Um, yeah. So I always just recommend like when I first started dating my boyfriend, we would go to this market and we would each like have like $5 and we just be like, pick stuff out. Yeah. Because there's oh, stuff there fun. that's like 89 cents. Granted, it's like this big. Sure, but still. But just to try it. Yeah. Yeah, definitely do it with a friend. Get a buddy to join in with you too, so that way you can kind of like split up the cost. But we mm -hmm. hope you always just like try new things in general too. Yeah. Just try new foods, see how you like them. And if we inspire you to try anything new, give let us know and maybe we can try it too. Yes. We can compare our thoughts. Ooh, we'd love to do that. Yes, yeah. absolutely. And give us some feedback on some of these um, different items we've tried today. If you've had them too, what your thoughts were. Yes. And as always, please make sure you like this video and, and subscribe to our channel. Yes. Turn on the notifications if you like us. Ding! <laughs> Remember to always take, take care, care of each, each other. other. <laughs>